Crystal Sapolasky from Cluttershrink TV and today we're talking about things you need to know before you start your organizing project. So many people say, oh I know exactly what I need to do to organize. I need to sort, I need to buy containers, I need to figure out where everything goes. But did you know there's actually stuff you need to do before you ever start organizing? The first thing is get real. Come on people, I am not kidding. Chances are you have too much stuff. I'm not the type of organizer who's going to tell you to throw away everything you have. I'm really not. In fact, I actually believe that you should make a place for the things you love. And that place is not under your bed. It's not shoved in a closet. If there's something you really love, then you need to honor it. And if you're not giving it a place of honor, chances are you don't need it. So let's get real. First of all, think about what you really need and how much you're willi really willing to go through this entire process. If you're not willing to give things up yet, you're not willing to make some tough decisions, you're not willing to deal with the guilt, then this might not be the best time for you to start organizing. So get real. Next thing you need to know is it's going to take you longer than you think. I have people call me all the time. Oh, I have an office full of paper. I think I'll just need you to come for two hours. Never the case. It's never the case. It's always going to take longer than you think. And that could be because you're slower at making decisions. It could be because you get started and life gets in the way. But trust me, you need to allot for time to organize and then add a little extra time for the unexpected. Pick something easy. Don't start organizing paper. Don't start organizing your memorabilia. I guarantee you those things will take longer to organize than anything else. And that's because you have sentimental attachments to some of that stuff, or with paper you think you're going to need it. Define the reasons why you want to get organized. Is it because your mother-in-law is judging you? Is it because you and your spouse are fighting over clutter? Is it because you're sick of tripping over your kids' garbage all over their floor? Could it be because you think your boss is judging you because of your messy desk? Are you losing clients because you haven't been able to find their phone numbers to call them back? Why exactly are you getting organized? You need to have a reason, it needs to be well defined, and you need to use that reason as your motivation for why you're going to need to go forward with this project. Organizing is kind of like weight loss. It's usually a gradual thing. It's not something you can do once and be done with it. You kind of really need to take it on and just do baby steps. If all you can do is just manage to drink water a day instead of soda, if all you can do is try to get three vegetables in a day, it's kind of like that. If all you can do is clear the pile of clutter on your kitchen counter, then let that be enough. Start with something. Something is better than nothing. And you need to gather your supplies before you start organizing. You don't want to lose focus and say, oh wait, I totally need to go to the store and get trash bags. Because I guarantee if you stop your organizing project in the middle of it, Chances are you're going to get sidetracked and run somewhere else. You're going to say, oh, I need lunch. I'm hungry. Or, oh, my friend just called. Let's go to the gym. So make sure you have all your supplies together before you start your organizing project. And by that, I mean, do not go out and buy 100 storage containers. You don't want to buy storage containers until you actually know what you are storing, where you are storing it, and how many of them you'll need. Buy supplies, I mean, grab some post-its, a couple trash bags, cardboard boxes, permanent marker, and if your space is a total disaster, you might need a face mask and some gloves. So these are things you need to do before you start your organizing project. I hope that helped. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to Clutter Shrink TV and share this video with your friends. I'd like to hear if you have any more suggestions about things you've needed to think about before you started an organizing project. Please comment below or email me at crystal at cluttershrink.com. I really appreciate you watching Clutter Shrink TV. Please join us again next time. Have a great day.